Rob, has it been a long two weeks? <laughs> um, no, not not really. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you know, it's a it's a fantastic um, uh, thing to be involved with is is professional sport, and I don't think I don't think you should ever turn around and look at it and feel like it's it's a hardship in any way. Yes, it's been it's been a, a, a little tough in some ways because we've wanted to get back on the pitch, and we obviously know uh, as a team that, that we let ourselves down against Sale and. You know, whatever the reasons are, at the end of the day, you've still got to say it's not acceptable to lose like that at home. And you know, we haven't. To be fair, to the players, there's not been any excuses made. We've just, you know, had a good training week, and we've had a few review meetings, and we just talked about the qualities that we want to show. You know, every day, not not just every Saturday, but every day when we train and when we play. So, uh, I wouldn't say it's been a long two weeks. I think it's been it's, it's been an okay two weeks. It's allowed us to get some quality training in. It's allowed a few players to freshen up. It's allowed one or two guys to potentially get back from injury. Um, so you know, whatever really, it's, uh, it's it's been quite it's been quite a decent time around the club. You know, we don't we don't overreact to to losses, and you know, we've never said we're well beaters when we win, and that vein is very much carried on, albeit with a, a little bit of extra edge in the background, as I say, because of the final result against Sale. Are you satisfied that you've managed to put your finger on what the problem was, though? No, because it's not, it's not as simple as it being a, a, a one thing, you know, I've put, put, some, put notes together to, to the last couple of days for the, for the club dinner today and, you know, when you actually, when you start to balance the season out and go, well, you know, where are we heading and, and, and what have we achieved this season, the two things that you've got to try and balance all the time, you know, on, on one side you kind of go, well, you know, we started the season well in the Premiership by, by about halfway, we were solidly in mid-table. We've never looked like getting involved in the relegation battle. Um, we had an improved Heineken Cup season. We, um, we we had our first piece of frontline silverware by winning the LV Cup, and you know that those are things we've achieved this this season. Yes, we've dipped in form since the LV, particularly since the LV Cup final. You know, I think three, probably three of our five five worst Premiership performances have been post LV Cup. Um, you know, some of them are some of them are understandable because you know you get on an emotional high and you put a lot of effort into something, and you know you've you've kind of achieved something for the season, um, and you know you have to do with that a little bit. But at the same time, you know those same notes say that we've got ten players, by my reckoning, maybe even eleven, who you would say have had their first season in the Premiership as a, a regular 23 player. Um, you know, we've had six six guys come through in the England squads one of the other England squads this year. You know, we've had Jack Noel break through and play a full part in the Six Nations and yet play six premiership games. And, you know, you, there's, there's lots of things that say, well, the balance book's pretty good, but, but what upsets the balance book is a, is a result like sale because you can talk, you can talk about that, the season as a whole and, and most things add up pretty successfully. Um, and you can talk about kind of where we're going and what we're developing and that looks pretty good. Um, but, but amongst that, you, you, you can't have too many sales. You can't have too many, too many things that just uh, you know, uh, slap you in the face, really, which is what the sale result was. So you know, we've talked about that, and, and I think there's an awareness that you know, there are various qualities that you put out there on the pitch as an individual and as a team that, that avoid that happening. You know, I've, I've said many times, I don't, I don't mind us losing. You know, you're losing the Premiership, but you, know, you should lose hard. You know, it, it should hurt you to lose. Um, and m maybe we didn't show that enough against sale, definitely. What are the priorities for Sunday? Because I mean, a seventh place finish is still possible, isn't it? Yes, it is, and you know, it's Wasps we're chasing down, and Wasps have got, you know, probably one fixture that they would expect to win, and probably one fixture that, you know, they know they'll have to play very well to win, and which is probably in some way similar to us, and that, and that's not um, uh, saying anything negative about Newcastle. That's probably just the way you've got to talk if, if you want to fight your way into seventh place, and. And that's probably where we are. You know, we've got Harlequins fighting to come in here, we're fighting to get in the top four. We know it's going to be a very tough fixture. You know, the reality is the form book says that they should beat us. You know, the, you can't run away from that. You know, they're where they're in the league because they deserve to be, and where where we are in the league because we deserve to be. And you know, you, you've got to accept that. But that said, we do put. We always tend to have seasons where we put together some big performances when it really matters. Um, and and I say that's that's what we've got to expect from the players this weekend. It might be that you need a bonus point win on Sunday. I mean, is that something you will actually specifically target? Or is it winning the game first and then trying to get the four? Or? We haven't we haven't talked about winning or losing at all. We have talked about a level of performance that that we're happy with. Um, that's what I said to the players. You know, I said I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, it's all about winning. And if we don't win, the season's been a failure or anything like that. All I've said to them is, I want to sit in the grandstand and I want to enjoy watching a team play like Exeter. 
um, and with the qualities that we show and we show, tend to show week in week out, and those qualities just slipped off a little bit against Sale and they don't have to slip very far for a good team to exploit them um, and so as far as I'm concerned it's, it's all performance based and it's the performance that will, will allow us to be competitive in the game.